This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Dancy Moeller. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the winter edition of TV44's High School Whiz Quiz. We are so glad you can join us. We have four teams ready to go in competition for this show. You're going to see Bath take on Lima Central Catholic, and a little bit later, Salina and Patrick Henry will have a go at it. All right, we're going to introduce you to our players joining us from Bath High School. We have Tristam Cheeseman, Alexis Ball, Ashton Jefferson, and Natalie Crow. And Bath is coached by Daniel Grimm. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Lima Central Catholic, we have Sam King, Quentin Potempa, Daniel Sikoski, and John Schreenan. And Lima Central Catholic is coached by Nancy Sikoski and Edmund Mishakevich. All right, here we go. We have our first round, 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. Up for grabs, get the buzzers ready. Make sure you answer as loudly as possible, not only for our judge, Mark Dickman, but for those watching at home that are playing along, and make your answers as complete as possible, okay? Here we go, question number one. Name the star of Disney's Fantasia. Yes, that would be Bath. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is correct. Who was the author of the Hunger Games trilogy? Yes, Bath. Suzanne Collins. Suzanne Collins is correct. In which state is Glacier National Park? Yes, that would be LCC. Montana. Montana is correct. Hitler became the dictator of Germany in which decade? Yes, LCC. Oh, the 1930s. 1930s is correct. Give the name of the compulsive urge to steal things. Yes, Bath. Kleptomaniac. Kleptomania is correct. What is the term for a person who eliminates all animal products from their diets? Yes, that would be Lima Central Catholic. Vegan. Vegan is correct. Question number seven in this first round. What event began World War II in Europe? That would be LCC. The invasion of Poland. You are correct. From which country did the United States purchase Florida? Yes, Bath. Spain. Spain is the answer there. All right, you have two questions remaining in your first round. Give the other name for a Thanksgiving Horn of Plenty. Yes, LCC. Cornucopia. Cornucopia is the answer there. And your final question in round one. What is the name of the Dallas NFL football team? Yes, Bath. Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys is correct. All right, very good. You come to the end of your first round, and here is the score. We have a tie. Both teams with 50 points. We'll be back with rounds two and three right after this. Don't go away. Tonight's Whiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success, RhodesState.edu, and by Hupie Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. We're so glad you could tune in because we have a great game right now going between Lima Central Catholic and Bath High Schools. Right now, both teams with 50 points. We had a coin toss before the show started. LCC, you're going to lead this round. You have five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but please buzz in with your answers, okay? Everybody ready over here? All right, question one. The sap from which tree is most commonly used to make a popular edible syrup? Yes. Maple tree. Maple is correct. Question number two. In which country is the Volvo Corporation based? Yes. Germany. Germany is incorrect. It is Sweden. All right, number three. Crazy Horse was a leader of which Native American tribe? Yes. Lakota. 
That is incorrect. The answer is the Sioux. All right, two questions. Oh, we will accept that answer. And you had said Lakota. Lakota? Okay, very good. We will accept your answer. All right, question number four in round two. On which continent is Mount Kilimanjaro? Yes, that would be LCC. Africa. Africa is correct. And here's your final question, LCC. Name Minneapolis Twin City. Yes. St. Paul. St. Paul is correct. All right, very good. Moving over to Bath now for your five questions. Please buzz in with your answer. The word bovine refers to what animal? Yes. Cow. Cow is correct. Question number two in the second round. Name the traditional dance of Hawaiian women. Yes. Um, the luau. That is incorrect. The answer is the hula. All right. In the Old Testament, what individual parted the Red Sea? Yes. Moses. Moses is the answer. All right. You have two questions remaining in the second round. Name the slang term for the first Volkswagen model of car. Yes. Slug bug. That is incorrect. The beetle is the answer we're looking for. And here's your final question in round two. How many squares are on a chessboard? Yes. 64. 64 is the answer. Okay, we've come to the end of round two in this game, and here's our score. LCC with 70 points, Bath with 65. We're moving into our final round. Again, 10 questions, we're 10 points apiece. Get the buzzers ready. They're all up for grabs. Here we go, question one. Who painted Impression Sunrise from which Impressionism got its name? Yes, that would be LCC. Claude Monet. Claude Monet is correct. Give the nickname of the Indiana University athletic teams. Yes, Lima Central. Hoosiers. Hoosiers is correct. What is the date of the raid on Pearl Harbor? Yes, Lima Central Catholic. September 7th, 1941. You are correct. Go ahead. Question number four. What river separates Maryland and Virginia? LCC. The Potomac. Potomac is correct. Question number five in your final round. How many degrees are in a circle? Yes, Bath. 360. 360 is correct. Authentic Cajun food comes from which state? Yes, Bath. Louisiana. Louisiana is the answer there. Question number seven. An abacus would be used to do what? Bath. Um, algebra. That is incorrect. Lima Central Catholic, you have a chance with that one. Add and subtract. We will accept that as the answer. Adding and subtracting. All right, question number eight. Whose castle is the centerpiece of Disney World in Florida? Yes, Bath. Cinderella's. Cinderella's is correct. Two questions remaining in your game. Brown, lake, and rainbow are types of which fish? LCC? Trout. Trout is correct. And your final question in this game between Bath and Lima Central Catholic. What word describes an animal that feeds only on plant material? Yes, Bath? Herbivore. Herbivore is correct. All right, we've come to the end of our game and it's been a good one. Neck and neck the entire way. Let's see the score. All right, we have LCC, 130 points, Bath, 105. So LCC, congratulations, you'll be moving on. Bath High School, we wanna thank you for joining us again this year. And we will take a break, come back with our next game between Salina and Patrick Henry. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you.
and by the Tomall family of dealerships. Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai. The home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, the show's starting off on an exciting note. We just wrapped up a really tight game between Bath High School and Lima Central Catholic. Now I have to admit that I misheard an answer given during that game, so we've had to make an adjustment in the score. It is Bath with 115 points, Lima Central Catholic with 120. So LCC will still be moving on in competition. They're going to take on the eventual winner of this game between Salina and Patrick Henry High Schools. All right, these games have been close so far this season. Let's see if this one remains the same. All right, let's introduce you to our players joining us from Salina. We have Graham Gower, Ashley Allen, Malachi Crouch, and Gabby Posada. And Salina is coached by Hal Hoover. Welcome to all of you. Okay, turning now to Patrick Henry. Joining us is Andrew Neese, Nathan Bosselman, Nicholas Bosselman, and Neil Jakeway. And Patrick Henry is coached by Rick Fricky. Welcome, gentlemen. All right, we have our first round. 10 questions were 10 points apiece. They're all up for grabs. Get the buzzers ready. Please speak up as loudly and as clearly as possible and make your answers as complete as possible as well. All right. Question number one. In the Bible, who has a coat of many colors? Yes, Patrick Henry. Joseph. Joseph is the answer. In which ocean was the devastating tsunami that hit Sri Lanka? Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean is the answer there. All right, question number three. Which mineral has traditionally been considered the hardest in nature? Patrick Henry. Diamond. Diamond is correct. Question number four. Hartford is the capital of which state? Yes, Connecticut. Patrick. Connecticut is correct. Moving on now to question number five. In which country is the Cannes Film Festival held each year? Patrick Henry. Japan. Japan is incorrect. Salina, you've got a chance with this one. France. France is correct. All right, question number six in this game. What does the I of FBI stand for? Patrick Henry. Investigation. Investigation is the answer there. All right, number seven. What makes up approximately 70% of the human body? Patrick Henry. Water. Water is the answer. Schubert's Symphony No. 8 in B minor is also known as what? Yes, Patrick Henry. A surprise Symphony. That is incorrect. Selina, so, you've got a chance with this one. The Unfinished Symphony. You are correct, the Unfinished Symphony. All right, moving on now to your last two questions in round one. What famous document begins when in the course of human, yes, that would be Salina. The Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence is the correct answer there. All right, last question in round one. What Alabama city saw state troopers attack civil rights marchers? That would be Patrick Henry. Birmingham. Birmingham is incorrect. Salina, do you want me to complete the question for you? Yes, please. What Alabama city saw state troopers attack civil rights marchers on Edmund Pettus Bridge? Yes. Jacksonville? That is also incorrect. The answer is Selma. All right, we've come to the end of our first round. Here is the score. Salina, you have 30 points. Patrick Henry with 60. Patrick Henry, you're going to lead this round. You have five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but please ring in with the buzzer. All right, what is the only U.S. city to have three rivers running through it? Yes. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is correct. What is the presidential retreat named for a little boy? Yeah. Camp David. Camp David is correct. All right, number three. A gambit is a part of what game? Yes. Oh, chess. 
Chess is correct. All right, you have two questions remaining in this round. Give the name of King Arthur's sword. Yes. Uh, Excalibur. Excalibur is correct. And here's your final question in round two. Name the composer that was totally deaf when he wrote many of his most famous works. Yes. Beethoven. Expand his name, please. Ludwig von Beethoven. You got it. Van Beethoven is correct. All right, moving over to Celina now for your five questions with five points apiece. What nation is made up of more than 17,000 islands? Yes. Indonesia. Indonesia is correct. How many stripes are on the United States flag? 13. 13 is the answer. What colony was settled 13 years before the pilgrims came to America? Yes. R Roanoke. Roanoke is incorrect. Jamestown, Virginia is what we're looking for. Okay, two questions remaining in the second round. In which country is it unconstitutional for the government to enter political alliances or to make war except in self-defense? France. France is incorrect. Switzerland is the answer. All right, here's your final question. Who served two terms as vice president under President Eisenhower? All right, time's up. The answer is Richard Nixon. All right, we've come to the end of our first two rounds, and here is the score. Salina, you have 40 points. Patrick Henry with 85. We'll be back for the final round right after this. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success. RhodesState.edu and by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. All right, we're moving into our final round. Here's a score right now between Salina and Patrick Henry High Schools. Salina, you have 40 points. Patrick Henry with 85. This is our final 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece. Everybody set? All right, here we go. Question number one. Name the author of Uncle Tom's Cabin. Yes, Salina. Harriet Beecher Stowe. You are correct. All right, number two. What colorless, odorless, and tasteless, yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is correct. I'm going to just complete the question for the viewers at home, okay? What colorless, odorless, and tasteless gas is slightly less dense than air? Toxic to animals when encountered in concentrations above about 35 parts per million. There you have it, carbon monoxide. All right, question number three. What modern vehicle was invented to circumvent trench warfare? Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. A tank? The tank is correct. All right, number four. What category of Italian food is ciabatta? Yes, Patrick Henry. Bread. Bread is the answer there. What was German aviator Manfred von Richthofen's nickname? Yes, Salina. The Red Baron. The Red Baron is the answer. Okay, question number six. The Heisman Trophy is presented in, yes, that would be Salina. College football. College football is the answer. Very good. All right, number seven. Name the sign of the zodiac represented by scales. Patrick Henry. Scorpio. Scorpio is incorrect. Salina. Pisces. Pisces also incorrect. Libra is the answer. All right, three questions remaining in this final round. What is the main ingredient in the French dish escargot? Salina. Snail. Snail is the answer. Okay, you have two questions remaining in this game. 
Which gas is a shield against the sun's, yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Ozone. Ozone is correct. And your final question. Name the composer whose middle name was Amadeus. Celina. Mozart. Mozart is correct. Very good. All right, we've come to the end of our game between Celina and Patrick Henry High Schools. Here is the final score, and it was a close one. Celina, 90 points. Patrick Henry, you had 125, so congratulations. You'll be moving on. Celina, great job this season, and we hope to see you back here next year, all right? Thank you for joining us at home. We hope to see you next week. Until then, have a great one. Bye-bye.